So, you live in Europe, and you want a Jirachi. Unlike our American friends, we can't use the Pokemon Coliseum bonus disc. Instead, we have to use this obscure game called Pokemon Channel. You will need a GameCube Game Boy Advance cable for this. Also, this only works with Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. It does not work with Pokemon Emerald. You will also need to have entered the Hall of Fame on your Ruby or Sapphire save file. Pokemon Channel itself doesn't have much actual gameplay. You just watch television with Pikachu until you unlock more television to watch with Pikachu. I couldn't find any guides for this game online and only very vague information on the prerequisites required to progress towards unlocking Jirachi. I've now played through this game twice. The second time I knew what to do and with a bit of time travel mixed in, I unlocked Jirachi in approximately two hours. Here is what to do. On day one, a bunch of Magnemite will deliver a TV to your room. The TV is from Professor Oak and contains a lot of Pokemon orientated programming. You will then be made to watch part one of five of the Pichu Bros short Party Panic. The aim of this game is to unlock all five parts of this anime. After the tutorial is done, a Pikachu will appear who wants to watch TV. You can now freely select a channel to watch. You must watch all the channels from start to finish with the new icon over their icons. You will know you've watched it when a Pokemon channel card appears on the TV. Now switch to the next channel and keep going until every channel is watched. The only channel that really matters is Shop and Squirtle. It has four items that you must buy to complete the game. The first you can buy on day one, the binder. Make sure you get it. The prerequisite required to unlock the ability to purchase the other three will be covered later. After you've watched all the channels from start to finish, the new will disappear from over them. Now go to the report channel. This allows you to save. If you have watched all the channels, Professor Oak will thank you for your report and give you a Smeargle too. This allows you to take stills from the Pichu Bros channel and color them in. You need to use it. So turn on the Pichu Bros channel and click on the Smeargle figurine. Then do some basic coloring in, quit out and save the picture. After the colouring in, go to the report channel and save again. Professor Oak will thank you for some great data and say that new programs will be available tomorrow at 5am. Pikachu then destroys your TV and you get a temporary replacement one from Professor Oak. You can then continue saving. After the game has finished writing data to the memory card, restart your GameCube with the disc tray open and change the clock one day forward, or alternatively, wait until tomorrow. On day two, you get your old TV back. Then you just repeat what you did on day one. Watch all the new channels, including part two of the anime. One of the slower channels is introduced today, the weather channel. It does end, just stick it out. After you have watched all the channels, go to the report channel and save again. Professor Oak will thank you for some great data and say that new programs will be available tomorrow at 5 a.m. After the game has finished writing data to the memory card, restart your GameCube again with the disc tray open and set the day forward. On day three, it's much the same as day two, but you get to nickname Pikachu. Say hello to Pikachu the Pikachu. Today you get the egg hatching channel. It is one of the longer channels too. Just stick it out. At least it has a countdown. But hey, at least you get part three of the Pichu bros. After you watch all of the channels, go to the report channel and save again. Professor Oak will thank you for some great data and say that new programs will be available tomorrow at 5 a.m. After the game has finished writing data to the memory card, restart your GameCube with a disc tray open and set the day forward one. On day four, Pikachu has invited some friends around. They immediately leave. Day four is much the same as day three, but today we will unlock the ability to buy the three items you need from Shop and Squirtle. First, complete the day like normal. Watch all the new TV channels. The Mareep counting one is quite long. It ends at 50 Mareep. But hey, part four of the Pichu Bros, right? The three items we need from Shop and Squirtle are the bus passes. You need to go outside to unlock them. Click on the screen door to exit your room. Click on the arrow outside to go to the field, then click on the arrow in the field to go back and click on your screen door to go back inside. Then click on your room door to go to the bus stop, then click on the arrow to go back inside. Now turn on Shop and Squirtle. The three bus tickets will be available to buy. Buy them all. You should be able to buy them all no problem. After all this, go to the report channel and save again. Professor Oak will thank you for some great data and say that new programs will be available tomorrow at 5am. After the game has finished writing data to the memory card, restart your GameCube again with the disc tray open and set the day forward. Make sure that the clock is set between 7pm and 5am. On day 5, it is revealed that Magnemite lost the final part of the anime. You need to find it. Click on your room door to exit to the bus stop, wait for the bus labelled Snowfall to appear, click on that bus and go to Snowfall Mountain. Once there, scroll to the very right of the screen and click on the arrow sign for the Ruins of Truth. Once there, you will see a Gengar blocking your way. 
Click on the Gengar and a dialog box appears telling you that you need the Duskull lamp. This sets a flag to get the lamp from Duskull who appears in the field between 7pm and 5am. Use the signpost to go back to the main area, then the sign at the far left of the screen to go back home, then the sign to go back inside your room. Then use the screen door to go to the garden, then the signpost to go to the field. Once there, click on Duskull and he will tell you that he is looking for a ball. It is in the big hole in the field. Click on the hole. After finding it, Pikachu will bring it to you. Click on the ball to give it to Duskull. Duskull will give you the lamp in return. Now click on the sign to go back to the garden, then the door to go back inside. Then your room door to exit to the bus stop. Wait for the bus labelled Snowfall again and click on the bus to take it back to Snowfall Mountain. Once there, go to the far right. Click on the sign for the Ruins of Truth. Pikachu will automatically pull out the lamp and scare Gengar away. Now you can enter the Ruins of Truth. Click on the entrance to go inside. Once inside, Pikachu will be scared. Pan the camera to the left and you will see two flowers. They are actually lights. Click on them both. Pikachu will use Thunderbolt to turn them on. This makes a signpost appear out of nowhere, which you click on to continue. You see a stone tablet and are asked a question. I got asked the same question on both playthroughs I did. True or false? Pikachu senses its surroundings using electrical pouches. The answer to this is false. Your question might be different, but I do not know. A Golbat statue then appears after you get the question correct. Click on it. Pikachu will jump inside its mouth and get stuck. You then free Pikachu by shaking the left analog stick. Out falls Pikachu and part 5 of the anime. You then automatically leave the ruins and Magnemite appears out of nowhere and you return the anime to them. You are then asked if you want to go home automatically, say yes. Once home, you watch part 5 of the anime. It is a CGI fest, more of a tech demo in my opinion. After all this, go to the report channel and save again. Professor Oak will thank you for all your help and say he is sending you a special gift tomorrow. After the game finishes writing data to the memory card, reset your GameCube again with the disc tray open and set the day forward. Again, make sure the clock is set between 7pm and 5am. Day 6 now starts and Professor Oak gives you his gift, the star projector. Then, oh my gosh, is that Jirachi? You are then transported to Viridian Forest to watch the anime in its entirety projected against the night sky by a giant eye toy camera. After this ends, you are prompted to save the game and you are sent back to the title screen. Instead of clicking continue, now select options, then Jirachi. This option was previously three question marks. Now simply follow the instructions to get Jirachi on your game. Can I get more than one Jirachi on the same game? Unfortunately no, you'd have to start your Pokemon Ruby or Sapphire save again, then beat the Elite Four. Even wiping and restarting Pokemon Channel doesn't work. So thanks for watching and I hope this helps.